sound and the sights of the roaring flames, you will also hear a vehicle's horn uncontrollably blaring as a fire here brought on by an explosion consumes it and a rural St. Charles County home. Sadly, the fire this morning has also taken the lives of two young children. First Lord Force Caroline Hecker live for us at noon from that scene gathering new information. And Caroline, at this point, what can you tell us? Well, you know, Claire, this is a very tight-knit community here in Defiance, small town, so everyone is absolutely shaken. I want to give you an idea of what's still going on here almost four hours after that original call came in. You can see firefighters are still here. Uh, there are some crime scene investigators still here. That's standard procedure, the fire marshal. This is the home that we are talking about. You can see that car that is burnt out as well as what used to be the front of this home right here along the main drag in Augusta. I just learned within the last 30 minutes there were a total of five people inside this home when this explosion took place a little after 7:30 or so three of them were adults two of those were the children those three adults I'm told were able to make it out of the house so when firefighters and first responders got here within minutes of that first 911 call they say they arrived to a very chaotic and hectic scene we were told there were those three adult family members were outside obviously desperately trying to get back inside to the children. We still don't know at this point what caused that original explosion, uh, but what, like I said, this small community of defiance has just been completely shaken by this tragedy, and they're already coming together, starting a GoFundMe for the family. One of the great things about defiance is we are a small community, and we know each other, we love each other, we take care of each other, and when one of our members suffers, we're all there to support each other. Now, sadly, we are told those two children that died in this fire did die here on scene. They are both under the age of 10. Uh, and again, we're here inside this home. It's not clear where they were as it relates to where this explosion originated. But just on the note quickly of that local small business owner, I'm told by talking to people, this family was instrumental in parades, in fundraisers, and a lot of things here in the Defiance community. And we can actually attest to that. If you remember back to 2011, there was a tornado here in Defiance. I actually spoke with one of the family members involved in this tragedy. She was helping to spearhead uh, some donation drives and such in the immediate aftermath of that tornado. So just an all around tragedy taking place here in this small town of Defiance. Again, we are still working to learn more from the fire marshal's office as to what exactly prompted this explosion. But as you can see, just complete devastation here this morning. We're live in Defiance, Caroline Hecker. First alert for an entire community. They're grieving in defiance the loss of two young lives, Caroline. We are also 